Hello, welcome to Cosmetology. I'm Miss Herman. And I'm Mrs. Shugley. Normally, we would have you come into our program and tour it um, individually and in house, but this year we have to do it virtually. So, we created a video for you to watch. So, I hope you enjoy it. And of course, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us. Our contact information is at the end of the video. We hope to see you in the fall and we hope you enjoy our little video. Thank you. Hello, welcome to Cosmo. I'm Miss Herman. Thank you. Welcome. Let's take a look in Ms. Shugley's room real quick. Oh, okay. Come on in, guys. So this is our theory room. In cosmetology in our program, we have a good bit of theory. We have to learn um, a little bit of anatomy, a lot about chemicals that we use with different hair products. We also have a lab area, if you want to come back here, where it is a salon atmosphere. And this is where a lot of the students are working on their mannequins and learning about all of the different techniques that they need to use in a salon. Awesome. Yeah, it feels like a real salon. It does. It really does. That's cool. The students love to work on their mannequins. They really enjoy the lab work. Um, and if we head over this way, we'll get to your room. Account. Learning about some different nail shapes, I see. We Very are. cool. We're learning about nails. We're learning facials. We have all kinds of different hair coloring techniques, hair cutting techniques. Awesome. We have a lot, have a lot to do here. Very Lots cool. Things going on. If you want to come over to my room, I'll show you everything that we have here. Now this is um, my classroom. Okay. I instruct first mm -hmm. year, uh, which is usually sophomore. Okay. And also third year, which are usually seniors. So um, their second year here, they go across the hallway, huh? Right, All right. right. Yes, they're with Ms. Shugley. She also has first year as well. Our first year is usually like big groups. So okay. We split them up. All right. So those of you that are watching, if you are going to come here, you might be with either instructor. That's so. Correct. Yes. Fun, fun awesome. Stuff. Great. Either way, at some point, you're going to have both of us. That's so. great. <laughs> so this is our classroom area here. Um, just want to show you a few things before we move around the classroom. Um, just before we talk to the students as well. Um, Ms. Shugley and some of her students had uh, made some really holiday neat designs um, for this year, um, oh. you know, inspired by Whoville. Very cool. So we like to try to keep things fun and exciting for the students um, to do neat things, um, something that can really bring out their creativity, you know, and just, you know, just to kind of give them an idea of different things yeah. they can do other than what they are taught here. And also too, we had done this back in October, more of the theatrical side, um, again, you know, just experimenting with paints, designs, you know, this industry, you have to have a really good imagination. Right. You know? So that's why we like to do these kind of things just to that's great. Br bring it out in the kids. So now, do you do makeup? Do you have makeup lessons in this? We have makeup. Yep. We do have makeup applications um, that we show the students. That's normally second year with mm -hmm. Ms. Shugley that we do that. Um, we incorporate facials. We have spa services as well. So it isn't just, just hair. Okay. Know? Yeah. We do all sorts of different things as well and we split it up so that way they can get everything completed they need to within the three years they're that's here. That's awesome. And you do special effects makeup too? Do you get to dabble we in that? Do. That's yeah, awesome. We Great. We had a lot of fun with that. Yeah, we did that around October as well um, where the students, they got to learn, um, you know, special effects makeup, mm -hmm. you know, incorporating um, colors and, 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 you know, to make scars and cuts and things like that. Oh, cool. So, yeah, so it isn't just like gory stuff, but you know, yeah, the dramatic look, right? Theater, also. dramatic. Yeah. So cosmetology is kind of a broad sort of title, which does include obviously hair, but nails and makeup. So you'll yes. kind of touch base on all of those. Although main focus is on hair here. Yes, absolutely, awesome. absolutely. Like I said, you get a little bit of everything. Which yeah. Because it keeps things exciting in the industry. Um, we have some students that prefer doing, you know, the hair coloring or the hair cutting. And then some are really mm -hmm. passionate about um, makeup as well or, or the spa services. So it's really neat that they get to learn everything. Right. Um, That's great. You know, yeah. The more, I would say the more knowledge you have, the more you know, the more money you can make in this field. Definitely. So more marketable. But All right. we have Alexa. She Hi. Is, <laughs> well, she is doing a zero degree haircut. Okay. On the mannequin. All right. So a zero degree haircut. What does that mean? Um... It means you just take the hair and then you pull it straight down, no angle, and then you just cut your guy that you want. Oh, so it's kind of like a straight across cut then. Yeah. Awesome. Yes, yeah, so that's one that we teach. That's the first year. That's one the first. That is the first haircut actually that they do learn. Um, you know, just it's basically doing the foundation. Mm -hmm. and the other haircuts involved, but yeah. So she's completing that. Did the fourth section block. They learned that as well. Sectioning is very important in hair 
and hair cutting. Oh, yeah. So awesome. would you like to try to hold the hair? Yeah, that would be great. That? That can try. I would love to try. That'll be tons of fun. I mean, it's a lot different than you trying to cut your own bangs That's at right. your don't bathroom. Do yeah, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. You want to learn it professionally. No kitchen beauticians here. Kitchen beauticians. <laughs> All right. These shears, okay? You're going to put your ring finger in the top. Okay. Okay, rest your pinky on the tang up here, and then you're going to put um, your thumb in the lower, lower one. So okay. just rest your two fingers up there. Okay. So, so these are cutting shears, right? Mm -hmm. You did that. Yeah, but you know what? Home two sides. Okay, oh. so very. It looks like you got. No, wait, no, no. Yeah, you got it. Okay. Yep, perfect. All right. Okay. So what you're gonna do? You comb the hair straight down. Is this real hair? This is real hair. Whoa. Yeah. All so right. you can curl them. You can color them. <laughs> you're gonna comb the hair straight down. You want to make sure you're not putting too much tension on there. They're pulling their hair, but you want to make sure you're putting enough tension on that you get all the tangles out and everything. That's nice and smooth. And you're gonna see how I have my finger following my comb yes. down. Yes. And you always want to keep your comb in your hand the whole time. And then you're going to put the comb on the opposite hand. And you have your fingers in the right placement. And then what you're going to do is just boom, boom, boom. Wow. Cut that in. And remember, zero elevation. That's why it's called a zero degree haircut. Okay. You don't want to even bring it out just a little bit. You want to keep it directly. Okay. Yeah, directly down. Right. You want to hold your comb in front of your shears. Yes. While you're... <laughs> Watch this. I'm not good at this. <laughs> it's okay. I don't know what I did wrong. This is a little bit. This hand here? No. I need to do this hand. But I never put my comb down. <laughs> well, you're going to put the comb. There you go. In that <laughs> hand. Yep. yep. And bring. Yeah, bring it completely Oop, that's down. Too far yep, out. Yep, there you go. I'm just going to do this again. Okay. No, up below your fingers. Up. There you go. It's called undercutting. Undercut. You are undercutting right now, Katie. Yeah. You're undercutting. Look at you go. All right. So. There you go. See, you did wonderful. Oh, I tried. It's nice and straight even. Ah, good job. Thank good you. Job. <laughs> well, and again, this is why we pay the professionals. Well, so we <laughs> thank lot, you for guys. showing us. And what school do you go to? Franklin Regional. Franklin, okay. And you're and a senior? We have Miss Jayla over here working <laughs> on a thermal curling style. She's doing a spiral wrap right now. And I love how you are putting your comb underneath that iron to protect your client's scalp from burning Ooh. and the injury. Yeah. You do one, Stop. I'll watch you it. first, and then maybe I'll try. There you go. So, always brush the hair first. And I just mm -hmm. it very nice. Straight. Then I go like this. Bring it down. Stop. Start curling it. Make sure you comb at the top so you don't burn the scalp. Let it sit there like six seconds. And then once you're done, you just lightly bring it out like that. Okay. Yeah. That looks good. Yeah. I could do that. I, could, I think I could do that. I could do All right. I don't know. It, I look so awkward doing it. Again, I am not a hairstylist. Oh, let's put this under so we don't hurt the scalp. So how long? I said about like six seconds because it's pretty hot. Yeah. Doesn't take long. Uh oh, you just burn oh it. You burn your clothes. Did I burn her? I'm you sorry. Oh. Uh, she said, ouch. Ow. Well, that's, that's a light curl. All right, there you go. It's good. It's probably. All right, so you're a senior too. Yes. And what school do you go to? Penn Hills. And are you going to be a hairstylist after high school? Not a hairstylist. I want to do more so makeup. Makeup. And next okay. Week, Stephanie here doing something a little different. Okay. What are you doing, Steph? Wet draping. Wet draping. Wet draping. Yes. Right. You gotta make sure they don't get wet. You mm -hmm. gotta drape them. Oh, that right. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So whenever you go in and sit down, you usually get something put on you to protect you. So, yes. so this one's a wet drape. Yes. Yep. So Proper if they're draping is very important. There are three different drapings you're gonna use. Um, you know, in a not just in a school but in a salon as well. Mm -hmm. you know, but she, yes, like she said, she is doing wet draping where any kind of service that you um, need your hair shampooed for, whether you're getting a haircut or just a blowout, you know, blow dry mm -hmm. style, you know, um, you want to make sure they're protected from you just kind of know, products from the water. First, you do the neck strip. Okay. And you just like put it around, then you tuck it. And you actually learn all the shampooing techniques in here as well, then, too? Yep. Then you put the towel, and then you put your cape. You don't want to make it too tight. Right. So they can make sure. Okay. 
just like you're tying like a shoelace. Mm -hmm. Again, thing. There was a kit that you need to purchase. Okay. Uh, for the program. Uh, this is just a small portion. Um, there is so much that comes in a kit. As you can see, you get two mannequin heads, um, a blow dryer, straightening iron, curling iron. You get things for um, facials, for manicuring. Um, oh my gosh, for hair coloring, for styling. I can go on and on. We have our little mannequin hand here. There's just there's so much that um, you're going to use and learn in the three years that you're here. Um, mm -hmm. That Yeah, it, we, we pack you with a full, bag full of goods. And it also includes the smocks, as you um, saw the other students wearing, and they will have your name on them, and you get a big bag to carry it all to and from in, but you can keep your, you know, kit in the locker, of course, you know, to have here, but also you can take it home, too, if you want to practice. Right, okay. Go around and show your skills off to your friends and family, so. So you do have to wear a uniform for this program. Yes, yes. It's a requirement. You have your black smock on, and you also have to purchase a pair of black or white leather shoes. Okay. Um, as, you know, uniforms and that. It's also, also really um, is a requirement yeah. if you would, like, to get your hours. If you do come to class and do not have your smock on and shoes, you, they will not, you know, get your hours mm -hmm. for the day. Can so, you tell me about those hours a little bit? Yes. In this program, you need 1,250 hours to complete uh, to be able to take your state board exam. And within those three years, you are able to obtain all those hours, you know, and more, to be honest. We've had many students that were able to get their state board license before they even got their high school diploma. So if you are um, passionate about this and come in and, and work and have your uniform on, there is no reason, there is any reason that you can't get your hours um, before you graduate, which is really exciting. Yeah. They got with the certification before their high school diploma. So you'll take your test, and then mm -hmm. that's it. You are a, a, a licensed hairstylist, and you go get a job in any Absolutely. Pennsylvania salon. So yes. if that's what your ultimate goal is, there would be no need to further your education because that's that's it. It is what it is. That's it all you really need is a absolutely. to be licensed. Yep. So, yep. so that could save you guys a lot of money in the long run if this tons is what you want to do. Tons where and tons and tons of money. Th yeah. Again, this is <laughs> essentially free for you to attend. So yes. it's a yes. great opportunity for you in high school. It is, and just on like a little side note too. I know that they're doing practical work, but we do have a lot of theory involved as well. You know, mm -hmm. this is a classroom here that we do the theory. We also do some practical work, as you can see, the counter tops have the mannequin stands, and we also have a lab back there that I will show you. Yeah. Um, but I have the uh, Student Learning Center, um, which is the clinic that we call it. Um, we usually have it Mondays, I mean, I'm sorry, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays um, from about mm, 10 to 12. You know, we have outside where the public come in and, um, you know, they'll get their perms, their colors, their haircuts, any, anything. You know, we do it at a low cost, and of course, we are here to guide the students in it so they don't feel alone, but it's a great experience for them to have um, since especially we only do it for seniors since they'll be graduating actually working in the workforce mm -hmm. and the salon kind of gets them comfortable and in the atmosphere right a bit more, so. because there's gonna be a lot of uh customer service skills of how to like communicate and interact yes. with the customer as well so yes. we know the mannequin <laughs> heads don't talk they don't, so they do not it talk. is nice that the students get like real life experience with real people and they all have different needs and um different wants so it's you yeah. got to be able to talk to your customer and give that customer service. Right, it's important. And even back here, you know, we have um, students that will come in, check in, you know, our clients, and so they're learning the business end of it also, in terms of you know checking them in, checking them in. You know, um, we don't really do appointments here, but just just getting on the computer and mm -hmm. navigating through right. different services and um, you know the costs of things and things like that. So they get a little good. bit of a business end in this as well, which is really good. So that is great. We have quite a few students that end up first, like going further um, to get a business degree. Yeah. And, you know, oh yeah, that's an option. Colleges, which is really nice too. It's um, a really good trade to build on. Yeah. Um, if you wanted to go for a business degree or if you wanted to be um, an educator mm -hmm. or if you wanted to go into sales, there's a lot of really big um, companies like Paul Mitchell, Wella, you know, all of the big companies that that's good to know, yeah. So you're not so just limited to, you know, working as a Colombian hairstylist. Oh, there gosh, is opportunities to own your own, to be in the business end of it, uh, to be an educator like yourselves. <laughs> and different um, avenues that you can take with yeah. um, a yeah. psychology license, um, and it's really nice to be able to build on. We have um, some, some students who want to work in spas. Some mm -hmm. of them want to work in... Um, uh, resorts, you know, like, mm -hmm. you know, Nemecol and Seven Springs, they have all of these really nice spots right, yeah. to work in. Um, some of them get very involved with facials and skin care, and they um, end up working at like a medical, you know, a dermatologist office or, you know, um, sometimes plastic surgeon's office. Oh, wow, okay. Medical treatments, um, if they continue on and specialize with facials and skin care and add more to their 
you know, to their cosmetology mm -hmm. business. It's just a really great trade to keep building on. Definitely. There's a lot of different avenues you can take with it. Yeah, and the more you have, the more marketable and the more clients and That's right. hopefully the more money you can make yeah. too That's because right. we know That's this is a career that does um, really thrive off of tips from customers, happy clients, happy customers. So, and reputation, you know, you get a good reputation going, that could really take you far too. So, Absolutely. but you could start here in 10th grade by learning the yeah. skills and just keep building as you would build your career too. So, um, it's a great program to get into. Again, if you are watching this and you have any interest, uh, Ms. Shugley and Ms. Herman's contact information will be available at the end and you can always call us if you have any questions or even if you want to come in and take like a small personal tour, we definitely, mm -hmm. you know, arrange for that to happen this year. So yeah, absolutely. We'd love to have everyone. All right. And I do want to let you know that are watching this program does fill up. So if you yeah. are interested, <laughs> exactly. you want to get your application in sooner than later because there might be a waiting list at the beginning of the year. So yes, it's a lot of fun and you know, I hope to see everyone that is interested here in class you know next year we'll awesome thank you all right so thank you for thank you for showing us around we thank appreciate it thank all right you. have a good day you too.